Founding Cooperative Governance and Traditional Affairs MEC Mzi Kumalo has highlighted the need for municipalities to view electricity provision as a service and not just a form of revenue. Kumalo says municipalities should be able to sustain themselves without relying on income generated from electricity supply. Now let's uh, speak more on this issue with uh, Gundo Masume who's a lecturer of urban and public infrastructure at the University of Cape Town. Good to have you on the program uh, this afternoon, sir. Uh, firstly, give us an overview of uh, the situation regarding this uh, apparent gap between uh, the cost of maintenance as well as uh, revenue collection here. Yes, thank you. Most of the municipalities, let's just put it like this, national government, uh, when we pay our taxes, the money goes into the national fiscals. Mm -hmm. uh, of that money, if it's 100 trends, um, 40, uh, five rents goes to national government, yeah. then 44 to provinces, then only 9% goes to local, uh, to the municipalities, that means to local government. Mm. So the reason they get that less amount is because they are the uh, arm of government that can generate income from rates and taxes right, and right. selling electricity and water and so on. <clears throat> but now, uh, electricity is actually the main a commodity that municipalities are selling mm. uh, out of the 40, uh, just over 40 percent of what ESCOM generates yeah. uh, goes through municipalities. So they sell and they get a profit out of that. So at least a quarter of all the income that municipalities receive come from electricity. Mm. Mm. In fact, some rural uh, municipalities like Greater Cox, that uh, 93 percent yeah. uh, comes from from just electricity, Hamahara uh, in uh, Northern Cape, uh, uh, just over 70% comes mm. from that. Mm. In Sunduzi, it's, it's around 50%. So most of the municipalities, strictly speaking, make their income from, uh, from selling electricity. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> now, the gap is that um, you are selling electricity, you get a profit, but that profit, part of it, you have to use it for maintenance. Um, and now the amount of money that needs to be reinvested in maintenance in most municipalities is more than the profit that they are getting right now, of mm. course, because of backlogs, the state of infrastructure and so on. So that is where that uh, gap comes from. And the way they model their tariffs, uh, we actually have one uh, master student called Mukundi who's uh, actually uh, doing work on that. The inputs that uh, come together to compose the t uh, the uh, the tariff. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll find that the tariff is less than um, what you need to be putting in. So in a way, that is what mm -hmm. is not viewed as a prof as a profit. When you look at the challenges here in Gauteng, would you say the uh, the problems are unique to uh, urban areas, or are we seeing the same trends when it comes to this gap uh, that are prevalent in rural areas as well? Uh, it is uh, the trends are similar. Mm -hmm. Uh, in fact, the, in, a, in more uh, urban settings, municipalities still collect uh, money for like refuse, yeah. uh, storage, and uh, uh, you know those type of services. That in rural areas uh, are not actually levied because the municipalities may not be uh, providing those uh, services. So <clears throat> there is more reliance uh, on electricity in more rural municipalities than in urban municipalities, generally speaking. Mm. And as we wrap up, uh, are there innovative ideas to also help bridge this gap that we're seeing here? The, um, the best way to, uh, to deal with the issue is to identify who is best positioned to look after the electricity. Uh, infrastructure mm -hmm. uh, between is it ESCOM, is it the municipality uh, who would do it uh, with uh, lesser inputs? That would be uh, the that would because some municipalities have an arrangement where ESCOM does everything but they yeah. don't make uh, they don't make profit. But I think the most crucial move that government needs to consider is this distribution of equitable share that nine percent is just way too little for municipalities. The assumptions that uh, it was based on, we can see that they have uh, come out to be, to be wrong. And provincial government and national government, especially province, mm. if province does not exist today, when you go home, what are you not going to find? Mm. Because electricity comes from the municipality, um, um, you know, the local roads are coming from the municipality, water is coming from the municipality. Mm. So I think that dynamic needs to be uh, 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 reviewed, especially for rural municipalities. Gundo, thank you very much uh, for that uh, perspective. That is uh, Gundo Masuna. Of course, he's a lecturer 
at the University of Cape Town.